what happened in a, work, a workplace somewhere. And it got me thinking about my time working in a corporate, corporate setting, but most especially that time when I started out as a young, a young woman. I'm not that, not that young. That's why I say as a young woman. So I would like to give my, my uh, perspective, but also picking from what I saw other people go through. So it's basically, you know, mix and match of that. So here goes. It's titled, uh, I Wish. I wish. I wish that someone guided me through the workspace as a young woman. I wish that someone held my hand that first day just like in nursery school. That someone schooled me on the riots act. That someone warned me of the culture shock I was about to witness. Nothing prepared me for this animal called work. I wish that someone had told me that becoming a boss doesn't always make you a leader. Yeah. That leadership transcends title. Yeah. That leadership is influence. But more importantly, that in order to lead, one must learn to follow. I wish that someone had warned me about the ones who play fools. The ones that have you thinking, how on earth did they get here? While I lost myself in grandiose thinking about my competence, they secretly devised ways to undermine my work. And you know what? They won. See, I learned that work wasn't only about competence. It was also about survival in the jungle. I wish. I wish someone had told me that pawns don't only exist on the chessboard. That it is possible to naively fight other people's battles. That not everyone who gives you a hand up necessarily helps you. That just as a company has its values, so should you as an individual. See, I learned that if you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. I wish. I wish that someone had told me to pick my battles. That I was not meant to be superwoman and couldn't even if I wanted to be. I wish that someone had told me I couldn't resolve all life's problems. That some things were just meant to be. I wish. I wish that someone had told me how to speak up. That I didn't need to adhere to the status quo. That all I had to do was present my issues respectfully. That the road less traveled was a good enough option. The one that didn't always present as callous and uncouth. The one who didn't always make you feel uncomfortable. I wish that someone had told me that predators weren't always of one gender. That the moment you let your guard down is the moment they chose to strike. I wish. I wish that someone had warned me about the naysayers. Not that life is all roses and stars, but that we become the company we keep. I wish someone had told me to look out for the dreamers, those from whom I could learn from and who would ignite the fire within, so I could become what I couldn't see. I wish. I wish someone would have told me to listen to my intuition, 
that absence of physical evidence is not presence of truth. That my feelings are neither wrong nor right, but that they are there to help me choose from right or wrong. That my feelings are not necessarily who I am. I wish. I wish that someone had told me to look out for my own. For that sister eager to make her imprint. For that sister full of ambition and life. For that sister buried in the depths of office politics. For that sister once full of life but now a shadow of herself. For that sister who now says, I wish I had made better choices. I wish. I wish. I wish. Thank you. Like she's not a regular, but when she does come here and perform, you can literally hear a pin drop. So Gloria, thank you very much. Let's give another warm round of applause, people. The next person on the stage, it's been a while since he was here, and um, I'm hoping that he, yes, uh, he's prepared, he's ready, he's not in the washroom, he, you know, uh, and he knows uh, what he's here for. Let's give a warm welcome to our brother from Burundi. His name is Fernando. Big, 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 big welcome. Uh, I believe this is his third or fourth time performing, and it's his uh, time back here after, I think, a year. Um, so welcome back, Fernando.